Welcome everyone. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I have brought a very interesting topic. We all who is working in this IT sector or would like to make a career in the IT sector, we would all like to make it big. And in today's world, the synonym of big is something called as man or fang how it was called previously. So what are these companies and what are the companies which looks very similar to the man and how do I get into that? In today's video, I'm going to decipher that itself. I'm going to dissect in details and understand that today, if you want to make it big in the IT sector, if you have a dreams of working for the companies like Facebook, Google, Microsoft, what does it takes and what should be your strategy? So let's get started. Yeah, this is me. I think most of you are already aware about me. So I'll just quickly move to this addressing the elephant in the room. So before I even talk about that, how Mang is different from all the other companies which is there in the market, let's first of all understand what this word Mang itself is, right? So we have something called Mang. So sir, this Mang word is nothing like a word or something. It's basically an acronym that each alphabet in this Mang stands for one technological company. So here M stands for Meta which was previously known as Facebook that you guys are already aware of. A stands for Apple. Again, A stands for Amazon. N stands for Netflix. Yes, the same OTT platform where you love doing the binge watches. And the G stands for Google. So these are the companies who are kind of, I can say that they are the torch bearers of the technology and they're making sure that they're building products that influences, that hits millions of the people. And they try to make use of tech to solve the problem. So I can consider them as the tech first companies. But said that, are there only five companies in this world who are actually working uh, futuristically or trying to take the tech first approach? That's not the case. Just like Mang, there are several other companies as well. So just like this, there are several other companies also. Few of the good names that I would like and take here would be like, say, for example, Microsoft. You would be hearing a lot about the Microsoft these days because of their participation in the world of cloud and AI. LinkedIn. Right? Atlassian. So the list is long. So these five are just the torch bearers, but there's many other companies who works on a similar lines, how you get in the FANG itself. So now we have understood that done that what is MANG. Now let's try to address this question that how it is different from the other companies. What is that which makes these companies different from others? See, at the end of a day, as a developer, I feel when you want to make it big in the IT sector, you're always looking for three things. What are those? The very first thing I feel which is very important for us is money. And I'll try to you know, address this very first point itself. People will say diplomatically correct answer that I work for the passion. I love tech. But trust me, one of the most motivating factors is that how much salary that you earn every month. So. One of the big motivation for anyone to stretch harder, make it big is so that you can earn enough for yourself and for your family, right? So the one thing that I expect from any good company is that I should have enough decent salary, which is as per the market standard. The number two is the impact. I would like to work for a company which creates products, which create application, which hit millions of users. Say for example, Google Maps, how beautiful that product is. Even in, I have to go in a nook and corner of a country like India, there also I can make use of this Google Map to go anywhere. It's simply amazing. One application which is revolutionizing the way we have been trying to find places all across the globe. So I'm talking about when you work for a company and build applications like Google Map, Google Search, it has an impact on millions of the user that gets you the best satisfaction in this world, right? So the another thing that you look for is that what kind of impact your application is creating. And number three is that 
how technology is going to solve the problems of the future how futuristic we are are we putting enough money are we putting enough time in doing the research for building the tech of the future are we taking the tech first approach are we taking the tech first approach so as a techie as a software engineer if you get at a place where you get all the three things you get the best salary you get the best work environment you get to work on the application which has humongous impact and you are doing a tech first approach you are working for a company to solve the problems of the future that's what you deserve that's what you look for up to so when i go and talk about these man companies or super product based company these all are the ones who provide you best of all of these if i take example of google or microsoft or linkedin or facebook you can expect that these companies goes beyond their day to day struggle of making you know just few dollars they are more into creating the bigger impact they are more into solving the problems of the future and at the same time they make sure that the employees they hire they get the best in the industry so that's how i see then how these companies are different from the rest of the other companies which is available in the market they take the tech first approach invest enough amount of money and time in research so that we are solving the problem for millions and we are creating a futuristic technology fair enough do you guys agree with me now let's try to move on so now since we have understood what fang or mang is and we have understood that how a fang company or a mang company is different from the others why should i join obvious answer i should join because that gets me the best work environment right we have already seen that that gets me the best salary right because at the end of a day how much money i am making is also very important for me and my family members so the salary is very very important i should work in a fang because i will be creating application which has a huge impact i should work in a fang because i'll be working on a futuristic cutting edge technology i'll give an example here sir with my experience so i was working in some x company i'll not take the name because i think it will be a little demeaning but normally when you work in a normal company let's say that x and you're trying to solve a problem let's say that i have to implement some caching solution and for that i'm trying to evaluate the option that should i use memcache or something other and in the case if i'm not able to find the right fit which is available in the market i'll try to do the compromise i'll say that okay there's no other option left i should use what is the best among the worst which is available in the market and i'll just pick one of them and be satisfied and happy but when you work for these kind of tech giants say for example facebook they don't compromise with average if they find that something is not there in the market they will try to build something new say for example uh, if you guys are a little aware of javascript stack people have been using npm for getting the dependencies now one of the limitation of npm is that if you go and download dependencies it will always do in series let's say that if you have 100 dependencies it will be installing dependencies one after the another that will take a lot of time so the people at the facebook they realize that no we are not going to compromise with so much of dependency being you know installed one after the another and that's where they try to find out some another solution where the dependencies could be installed in parallel and that's how the yarn came into the picture the point that i want to say here is sometime to find the new solution you might have to invest some time some resources some money into it and these big product based companies they don't shy away from doing it they are here to solve the problem more holistically they don't compromise themselves with the average solution they don't try to look up around that what is available in the market if they don't find something which is relevant they invest in finding the right fit and that's what you get to learn and do when you work for this fang companies so by now i believe all of us are strongly convinced that why we as a learner should be dreaming to be a part of this fang companies now once it is done the next obvious question that comes into the mind is how do i crack these companies what should i do cracking a good product based company to the likes of google facebook microsoft is no rocket science 
you just have to focus on few fundamental things and if you do it right i don't see any reason why anyone and everyone who is watching this video should not be part of this company so preparing for this company you only need to have three different approaches or three pillars that you have to stick into first one is that you should be aware that how to write code you should not go in that rare trace of that i should be learning all the programming language that i should learn python i should learn java i should learn c plus plus no stick to one programming language and that should be enough and if you ask me personally which programming language should i learn if you have not learned any programming language till then try to run one programming language which is complete say for example c plus plus or java and between these two if you ask me what should i take i'll talk about the one which is more relevant in the market so for that you can stick to java as a programming language but in the case if you've already learned another programming language like c plus plus python java no need to jump to any other programming language you can just stick to that so learn one programming language is the first thing now once you have learned how to write the code today is the age of speed performance everyone is talking about that how fast we can do something so you need to earn the lot that how things could be done very optimally today everyone is talking about data right we are saying the data is the new oil we are saying the data are driven decisions almost every company has become data miners they have got data maniac for example if you take about amazon every click that you do is getting stored if i talk about the linkedin where i was working last almost everything that you do on linkedin you write a post you look for a job post you hover over something every click is being recorded you are already aware that google is tracking everywhere you go so point that i meant to make here is almost every company every industry that you go for they have become data hungry and for that there are two problems which has come up so with this humongous amount of data the same trivial problems of storage and computation has become complex because you want to store more and more amount of data with minimal space and you'd like to do it super fast calculation and that's why in today's world when you try to work for these companies like facebook and google who are doing crunching and munching of billions of data every day having a very solid understanding of data structures and algorithm has become so so important today so if you ask me that i want to make be a part of these companies how important is dsa from 1 to 10 out of 10 points how much point will i give I'll say 100. Yeah, exactly. That's how important the data structures and algorithms becomes today. Now, you have learned how to write the code. With DSA, you have learned how to write optimal code. Last but not the least, these companies are hiring you not, not just for you to go and solve the lead code problems, right? They're hiring you because they expect you to build applications for millions. So at the end of the day, you should be aware that how the applications are built, how the systems are designed, how the scalability is brought into the picture. So you should have a very good understanding of system design. And system design cannot be done well unless until you have a very good computer science fundamental. So you have to make sure that you understand the computer basics around operating systems, networking, how internet works, databases. So anything and everything which is needed to build today's modern applications you should be aware of so i am reiterating again if you want to make it big in the top product based company you don't have to do thousand things you don't have to go in that mad race of learning tech stacks keep your things basic and get a depth in that learn one programming language preferably java once that is done then you should try to focus into data structures and algorithm because that's what is the need of the hour is and then finally system design where you know how the applications are built so but this if you do it well i don't see any reason why today everyone who is watching this video you can't make in google i don't see any reason for that now moving ahead is a common question that people always have that you know what programming language should i learn as i already mentioned to go into any of these product based companies they never have any restrictions on a programming language so I'll suggest whatever language that you're already learning, don't waste time in learning one more language. Let's say that you have learned C++, stick to it. If you learn Java, stick to that. Because that's what any programming company or any good product based company expects from you. But someone who's doing, trying to learn new, I'm just starting. 
and I have to choose a programming language. In that, I'll suggest that choose a programming language which is complete. Complete sense like C++ or Java. Not like a scripting language like Python. Now, you might choose Python if you have a data interest in the data field, then Python makes sense. But Python, JavaScript, they are all scripting language. If you're learning the first language of your life, I think you should use something which is complete. Now among C++ and Java, I'm little biased towards Java because that's what industry trend says. Almost every big product company today, when they have to build the real world application, they're making use of Java. So one language, if you ask me that if I have to start today, what should I do? I'll say that you can get started with Java itself. So the rule of the thumb is you don't have to go in this mad race of learning 10 different languages. Pick one language and stick to it. That's the key. Once that is done, as already talked about, the next thing that you need to do is that you have to work since almost data, you have to deal that how do you do the efficient storage and the computation. And for that, you need to master this art of data structures and algorithms. This is something which you cannot avoid. You have to do it very well. Try to spend some good amount of time. I believe few months of practice is definitely needed to master this skill set of data structures and algorithms. And we have talked about the system design at the end of a day when you work for these companies like Facebook, Microsoft, Google, these all companies are not hiring you to just write the Git code codes. They are hiring you so that you can build the application for them which treat millions. So for that, you need to have a system design concepts. So that's the whole overall strategy to be a part of this fan company it's very simple you just have to focus on three things learn a programming language master data structures and algorithm and the system design and the good part is on this youtube channel i'm going to bring a lot of resources so that your dream of becoming part of this big big product based companies are hold true in a sequential phased out manner i'll be talking about java I'll be talking about the data structures and algorithm in details. I'll be talking in detail that how to learn the system design concepts. So stay tuned on the Speed of Blue Skills channel and I'll make sure that anything and everything which is needed for you to make it big in this IT sector, I make sure that it is happening on this channel for free.